who uh, are doing the best they can by their lights and to whom the left and more progressive people ought to show a great deal more compassion in the sense that this is a world that has been rocked to its foundation. The, the, the reverberations and scars, for instance, from Roe v. Wade have never been properly accounted for, for instance, by somebody like the New York Times that has never done a series on the incredible psychological trauma that has been undergone by people within both the Roman Catholic and say, Protestant evangelical community. It's not been looked at as a serious question by our media elites, a lot of our academic people, and others who just want to blow by this as if somehow we should all be on the same page or we're stupid. I am not coming from there. So in my mind, I have a completely different view of people's anguish as they see a culture changing even though I like the direction it's changing in much of the time. And the lack of compassion that has come from our elite uh, organizations of both media and the academic community in terms of trying to delve more deeply into the views have left so few people on the field talking that when some total flake and really perverse character like a Ted Cruz emerges, mm -hmm and the Tea Party comes forward, they find people who literally have never been given any other option who have just simply been written off. So I think it's an immense problem. And one of the things that I've tried to do, for instance, in some of my books, like Sex, Mom, and God, which I don't have any copies here, so I'm not pitching it to you. But I wrote three long chapters on the, the whole birth of the pro-life movement, the anti-abortion movement, all the rest of it, how I got into it, how I changed my views. And interestingly enough, the simultaneously reviewed scathingly by people on the left and the right, because I did not toe the absolute easy to clarify line. I talked about a kind of anguished ambivalence that suits no one on some of these issues. But it's, an on, it's honestly where I'm at. Uh, while being someone who, who votes for pro-choice candidates and would rather see abortion legal than illegal, it's a huge thing. So I think one of the one of the one of the things we can do is to acknowledge the depth of sincere feeling by people on the other side and make the best argument we can against their arguments and certainly take down the the hypocritical, abusive leadership that so many of these folks have been have been, you know, abused by. But at the same time, not confuse that person in the street, not to be condescending, but for lack of a better definition, and their passions on these issues mm -hmm. with their leaders who abuse these issues to get you to vote for the kind of policies that benefit the Koch brothers. Yeah. And that's really what it's been all about. But the person in the street is a different person. Keith. <clears throat> 